Hey, what's going on everybody? I have an exciting piece of software to share with you today. Today we'll be discussing MindMaster. It's an absolute incredible mind mapping software. As you can see, I'm actually building the mind map for this video itself. I'm using MindMaster to build a mind map to make this video. In the description, I've actually linked to two TED Talks that explain how important mind mapping is. If you have a moment, definitely check them out. They are super interesting. Finally, we're done with the actual map now. Let's go ahead and get into MindMaster and see how useful or not useful the software could be for you. Now, before we start, I do want to mention that eDraw MindMaster is a freemium software. That means they have a lot of their features for free, but to get extra features, you will have to pay for them. We'll cover that later on in the video. What's mind mapping anyways? Well guys, mind mapping is basically you writing down simple short form, whether it's one word or a bunch of sentences that describe what idea or what goal you want to achieve. Now, obviously you can go ahead and write it down on a piece of paper and pen, and that will be perfectly fine. Except once we get to the features of the software, you'll see why it's super beneficial to actually use a software rather than write it down on a piece of paper and a pen. In basic terms, we're building a plan. Now, whether you're building a plan for your future or you have a business that you want to run or whether you have a project that you have with your clients, you can actually use MindMaster to plan it carefully, send it to the client, and then the client can actually follow along the exact route you're going to take to make the project happen. All right, so who can actually use the software? Well, I'm gonna start with myself. I'm a webmaster. I do like developing websites for fun, or as you can say, for a hobby. And the most important thing about developing a website is a blueprint. You wanna make sure you know exactly what you're developing, what the functions are, what the customer panel is gonna do, what the admin panel is gonna do, what the seller panel is gonna do. And for you to do that, the best thing to do is to have a blueprint so you can actually code from. Another use case scenario, if you're a business owner, which also applies to me, I use this for my staff meetings. So just like you see in the video in front of you in the bottom right, how things are sliding along with each topic I'm covering, it's the same thing I can use within my meeting as a presentation and that way I don't lose track of what I'm trying to say to the staff and keep them at least engaged in my presentation. Another one is a staff guide. So for example, somebody fills out an incident report, how should the staff respond to the incident report? And that way everything's done properly and it's very easy for the staff to follow. Also, if you have business plans in the future, whether you wanna upgrade your store, whether you wanna introduce new things, whatever the case is, you can build a plan, build a tree, send it to a few people, and everybody will be on the same boat, or should I say map? Probably map is the proper thing, but let's say boat. And finally, another one is YouTubers. Just like you see in this video, I made a mind map for this video so I don't lose track of what I'm trying to say. And it's so, so easy. And this is obviously in the bottom right. Again, an example of this map. So in final terms, anybody can use a mind map. There's a lot of benefits to using them. But enough about that, let's go ahead and do MindMaster and see what the functionalities are or features are of this software and why you should get it. And finally, it's time for some features. I'm just selecting one of the free templates over here and I'm quickly gonna draft up something that makes absolutely no sense. But for this video, let's go ahead and do it anyways. All I'm doing here is selecting whatever I wanna write. I push enter for a new topic control enter for a subtopic and as you can see super quick it's done but that's not even the exciting part yet you can just click over here and go to themes and you'll see so many different themes you can apply now the exciting thing is everything is actually customizable whether you want to change the actual look of every icon or you want to select it or change the background whatever the case is or even add a watermark you can do it within the software and it's super easy. The next cool thing is what they call marks, which is basically icons you can add to every single part of your section. It'll make it look a little bit better, especially if you're presenting this to someone. Next on the list, when you make a mistake or you wanna order anything, you just drag and drop. You can drag and drop the main topics and move everything under it, or you can even drag the subtopics and move it into different main topics. And this is especially, especially useful because once you make your map, you realize things belong in different sections and you can just move it. When you're using a paper and a pen, you can't do that. 
Next on the list, also graphics related, is the clip art section. Basically, again, bunch of icons, but these ones you can drag into the mind map, make them bigger, make them look nicer. Again, nice visual effects, and it does help the actual aesthetics of the mind map. When it comes down to presenting, you can actually use MindMaster to make a PowerPoint presentation. It auto generates for you. You can obviously customize that as well, or you can go directly into PowerPoint and start presenting your topics. Super useful when you have meetings. I don't need to explain any further. This is a super cool one. This is called Traverse Topic, and this is what you've seen throughout the whole video in the bottom right. Basically, it does a small PowerPoint presentation with animations to go through your points. Super cool and super useful. Let's move on to the outline. Now, if you click on View and Outline, on the right side, you're going to see a list of your outline. The cool thing here is you can actually click Export and you export it as a PDF, a Word document, whatever it is. Once you export it, boom, you have an actual list of everything you input, but in point format. A favorite feature of mine has to be the brainstorming feature. You're just typing words that come into your head and then basically all you're going to do is drag them from the word panel into your mind map. Now it's finally time to save our hard work and that's when they get you. Basically yes, you can still save your file on the free version but it's going to have watermarks everywhere. These are the types of files you can actually save which will work perfectly fine to view later but if you're using the free version there's going to be watermarks. Starting off with the paid section, I have to let you know, I did pay for this product myself. I absolutely love it. This is the benefits you get with it. First of all, you're gonna get more themes and you're gonna get more maps. Also on any file I save, there will not be watermarks. And that's really important for me because when I send clients files, I don't want to have markings all over the files I sent them. Something really cool is you get access online to mindmaster.io, which is basically almost the same exact software except online, which means you can access it on your computer, your laptop, your work computer, etc. You also get access to the iPhone and the Android app as well. And that's all under one lifetime membership that I paid. Yes, they do have monthly and they do have yearly, but I think the best thing they offer is the one time fee you pay for the software and you get unlimited updates and you get unlimited access to online as well as the iPhone and Android app all under one cost, one time fee. And that's a huge plus that other competitors don't offer. By now, you're probably thinking, should I get the free version or the paid version? Let's go ahead and get into it. If you don't need to send your mind maps to a client or you just want to use it personally, then you probably don't care about the watermark. Also, if you don't have the money to pay for it, it's understandable. Don't pay for it. Just use the free version. Suffer with the watermark. It's still usable. There's nothing wrong with it and it's perfectly functional for your needs and you probably don't need to spend the money on it. Now, if you own a business, it's a little bit different. You probably should pay for the software. First of all, it's tax deductible, so you can get your money back. Second of all, you won't get the watermarks and you'll be able to access their Android app, their Apple app, as well as their online version, as well as the extra themes that I almost forgot about. I didn't pay for the extra themes. I don't really care about them. I paid for everything else, such as the lifetime updates and access to the mobile version and the web version and it's lifetime. So go ahead and download the free version, play around with it. And if you like it, just pay the money. I would get the lifetime license, but if you want to pay the yearly, that's completely up to you. Oh my, thank you so much for sticking it out to the end. Hopefully I didn't bore the hell out of you. I did my best to make this as entertaining as possible, even though it kind of looks like a school diagram and that's not really entertaining, but I did my best for you. If you did like it, go ahead and leave that like, a subscription, but most importantly, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Goodbye.